all right guys welcome back to the ender video in this video i'm going to talk about logistic regression which is uh, very useful for the classification problem uh, although the in the name you can see the regression but uh, it's actually the useful for classification problem and it uh, normally output the probabilities if the probability is greater than 0.5 then the data is labeled as 1 that means the a uh, true class otherwise it labels as 0 if uh, we are trying to like solve the binary classification problem so for this tutorial also i have used the shanghai aqi weather data set uh, which i i have used before in the linear regression section so in the linear regression actually uh, we we deal with the linear regression value that means uh, we try to predict the aqi value based on the several features but but for the logistic regression since it's the uh, classification problem so uh, i i try to classify this aqi explained uh, column so based on these other features I have to classify the uh, AQI, uh, AQI class that means whether it's hazardous or whether it's unhealthy or moderate that things uh, I'm going to do it. So in the regression, um, logistic regression it's also very um, similar to the linear regression or KNN, uh, KNN problem so simply we import the logistic regression function from uh, linear module and then uh, also i'm going to import the trend test split and numpy and pandas and after that uh, you need to like load the data set as i said uh, in the first video so uh, your data set uh, data input should be either in the pandas format or in the numpy format so i'm loading my data in the uh, pandas so here you can see we have all the features based on this temperature and then uh, dew point feels like and uh, precipitation humidity all the these parameters i'm going to classify this uh, class uh, aqi whether uh, air quality is good or bad so yeah so this data actually i downloaded from uh, kaggle so i provide the link to download the data here as well but for now i'm just uh, running uh, these cells uh, yeah and the thing is like in the first video i mentioned about like uh, for the classification or regression uh, problem in machine learning we don't have to any like categoric value i mean uh, we don't deal with any strings so we we need to change all the string input to the number so that's why i try to like see the unique uh, aqi air quality index values so to do so i write df dot aqi explain dot unique and then now i got to know there are uh, five classes hazardous very unhealthy 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 for sensitive group and moderate based on this aqi value they have classified the aqi uh, explained column and here based on these values i uh, simply construct one dictionary uh, starting from moderate moderate means uh, it's okay uh, and then unhealthy unhealthy for sensitive group for three and then very unhealthy four and hazardous equal to five so i need to run this cell now i store this dictionary inside aqi class and now i simply replace my values of this category into the numeric format so if i say df dot head now you will see instead of this categories uh, now i have the actual number so five five means this all class are hazardous yeah so after that i need to like see the features i need to select the features in x 
and then output in y uh, our target in y so for our input we have all the column except aqy aqy explained and date and for y we have aqy explained that is the actual class and if i try x dot hit you will see the similar kind of table but without uh, these last two columns aqy and aqy explained and now uh, is in previous section previous videos previous um, machine learning problem i'm simply uh, splitting my trend test set uh, into 80% uh, and 20% and then uh, i apply the logistic regression based on uh, and then i fit this logistic regression model with x train and y train value okay this is just the warning so you can simply ignore it and after that um, if you want you can see the predictions so these are my classes predicted classes uh, from starting from one so for the test data set the second class was hazardous second class is hazardous and first three means uh, unhealthy for sensitive groups and in this way you can simply get the label right so if you try to calculate the score uh, so your accuracy score will be 0 0.44 that means 44.5 percent okay yeah that's uh, all about like logistic regression uh, in next week video i'm going to talk about roc curve so how it help in logistic regression and then i'll little bit talk about it more but uh, yeah it's the very simple basic model for like setting up your logistic regression uh, logistic regression problem and in this way you can simply uh, predict the class so uh, based on our problem sometimes uh, the better accuracy can be achieved with knn uh, sometime with logistic regression and sometime with other uh, other machine learning models like random forest or SBG, SBM. so i'm going to talk about these models later on but yeah but for the logistic regression that's all about it so i hope you enjoyed this video and if you enjoy it uh, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel thank you for watching